the second wave really hit us very hard. What an irony it was. All of us recognized that uh, this element called oxygen that we used to take in so unconsciously and completely free of cause day in and day out. This was something which was not available to many people. Many close ones, many near and dear ones. It just hit so hard when it came close home. Somebody in our own circles, in the first circle, second circle that we knew, were really in panic for the need of beds, for the need of oxygen. Um, life is such, we didn't know what a small virus could do. One of the key things Seva International played a role in was in oxygenation. In various ways, we tried to make oxygen available to people. This could be through concentrators, which we distributed more than 10,000 across the country. Also BiPAPs, CPAPs and ventilators. Even while we were undergoing this process and uh, distributing these equipment all over the country, we realized that this was not really fixing the problem and it was just a temporary solution. So what could really be a solution to such a problem? During COVID, first wave and second wave, around uh, 2,700 patients were admitted. But really, it was a very tough time because uh, oxygen, every, we used to think that in another half an hour, our oxygen will finish. In another two hours, oxygen will finish. We used to go to the court. We used to go to the I mean, various state authorities and health authorities so that patient could, 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 can be saved. It was a really very, very difficult time. Mission O2G is the project that we envisioned to set up oxygen plants in uh, hospitals across India to cater to these oxygen needs of the people, be it COVID at that time or uh, any other such pandemics or other disasters which would need oxygen in future. The oxygenation project was supposed to be a solution. Oxygen was very essential for COVID patient treatment and all respiratory problems. So it is a good help to the institution. And really we are thankful to the Seva people, Seva International, who have donated this and helped us a lot. एक बहुत ही अच्छा जेस्चर है ये जिसकी वजह से वी आर होपिंग कि कम से कम ये जो लाइफ सेविंग है ये वाला पार्ट हमारा सॉल्व हो जाएगा सो दैट वी कैन वी कैन कंसंट्रेट मोर ऑन पेशेंट केयर आदर देन ये कि ऑक्सीजन कहाँ से ले जाएं तो वी आर वेरी थैंकफुल टू देम एंड वी होप कि सब स्वस्थ रहें इसकी वजह से Almost every other patient who is admitted, they are in need of oxygen and we don't have any oxygen plant for us. So we need to get the oxygen cylinders from the Vijayawada nearest uh, point. So at the time it became a lot of difficult. We have admitted patients, we are not getting enough oxygen cylinders because everywhere it is a demand. 
so we were so worried because we have patients admitted and we don't know whether the cylinder will come from vijayawada or not because of the demand then that is the time our management is working with lot of organizations then we came to know that there is an organization called seva international that is the first time we all doctors and our staff came to know there is an organization who is ready to support us i can say the oxygen plant is everything you know because that is everything for treating a covid patient so once we re- we thought if we have an our own oxygen plant we thought we can do much more work already in covid time we have seen nearly uh, 60 to 70 patients every day on outpatient basis and on that covid period pandemic especially the critical time we have managed nearly 40 inpatients even we have we are prepared to manage more patients but the problem is oxygen we don't have the plant we don't have the the cylinders you know on we don't have the supply of the cylinders but now i am we are very proud to say that because of the help from the seva international now we are having an oxygen plant in our hospital and now coming upcoming years we we doesn't want to happen we doesn't want such covid pandemics to happen but if anything such happens we are ready to do the care or the service for how many number of patients because the whole hospital is 200 bedded we can extend our wings and we can do extensive service i'm very happy on this august day of november 28th on the sunday evening in the presence of the ever humble and seva oriented swati ji and the other local legendary artist sri pasmati rattai sharma garu and dr pappu venugopal rao garu we inaugurated formally and traditionally the oxygen plant we are very grateful to everyone at seva international and especially for all the donors all across the world who came forward understood the seriousness and the need of the hour and donated generously today this plant is possible in a small village of andhra pradesh with the support of donors and then in turn the seva international usa we will be saving lots and lots of lives for years to come once again i would like to thank everyone from seva international as well as all the donors thank you very much this area patients owe it to you namaste so the value at seva international brought in is we handheld these hospitals that we identified that people referred to us through the process to help them realize what would be their contribution you know to take care of this plant in future how they need to operate it so while need was one thing effective and efficient utilization of this plant that we would set up at their premises was the other also made site visits in the midst of this chaotic situation of covid the fearful situation of covid we took all care not to affect ourselves or the hospitals and we visited these hospitals to understand their requirements to help them understand how much what is the capacity of the plant they needed and what would it take from their side to maintain the plant well both in terms of economy as well as uh, the quality uh, delivery of oxygen with this uh, with this plant uh, if he once we go for uh, you supply to other hospital with the necessary license and uh, equipment we can probably supply the entire hospitals in malappuram and palakkad and trichur the capacity is that much and even if there is a, there is a small problem with this plant we have adequate uh, backup with our uh, manifold system we won't have any problem now 
ഇല്ല ഇതിൽ എന്താ പറയുക വളരെയധികം സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് പിന്നെ സേവ യു എസിൻ്റെ അണ്ടറിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ ഇത്രയും ഒരു ഡീപ്പായിട്ടുള്ളൊരു വില്ലേജിൽ ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ ചെയ്തിട്ട് നമ്മളൊരു ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ആ ഒരു സന്മൻസും ഇത് ഒരു എക്സെൻഷ്യലാണ് ഈ ഒരു ഏരിയയിൽ അപ്പോൾ അത്രയും ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളൊരു ടൈമിലാണ് ഇത് കിട്ടിയതും ഇനി ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ സഹായം കൊണ്ട് എല്ലാം പ്രോപ്പറായിട്ട് നടക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഇവിടുന്ന് അങ്ങോട്ട് ഇനി ഇതേപോലെ എല്ലാവിധ സഹായങ്ങളും എപ്പോഴും പരസ്പരം ഉണ്ടാവുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അഭ്യർത്ഥിക്കേണ്ടത് അല്ല ശരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇത് ഇത് സേവ എൻ്റെ ശരിക്കും പ്രാണവായുവാണ് സപ്ലൈ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് അതിൽ കൂടെ We are placed nearly 100 to 150 kilometers away from the district places or other corporate hospitals where we can get all the facilities. By the time they reach these all serious cases on the way they used to end their breath. This was a bugin problem and this was very hurting uh, problem and we were very much worried what to do oxygen it it is a most needed thing for our area it is not a problem of oh, mudgal alone or lingsur alone all over karnataka all over country all people they have suffered due to lack of oxygen supply and as a private people what we can do for this then luckily vice president of seva international he gave us a beautiful idea of starting this oxygen generation unit took the place nearby place that is lingskur plenty of nursing homes are there surrounded by so many talukas where many nursing homes are there so that uh, we can uh, serve the people through the nursing homes by supplying our oxygen there then i requested ishwar devasthan at uh, lingskur all the trustees and the president they were very very kind enough to give us free site that is 60 40 site at their premises only now it is a beautiful premises where we have uh, installed our uh, unit and uh, it has come very beautifully more than 100 cylinders are uh, required for our hospital maintenance for uh, due to second wave of uh, corona so now i am happy for i am uh, ready for third wave so installation of uh, this oxygen plant so we should uh, more pro- health care facilities we will we will provide for provide for uh, public so through this whole process uh, we are uh, very happy to share that with uh, the support of our benevolent donors in um, countries including us and also australia then uh, uh, seva country units in uk and canada we have been today able to set up 32 oxygen plants in uh, various hospitals across the country starting from karamsad and uh, ranasan in gujarat to aurangabad district in bihar starting from uh, bantala all the way in jammu to malappuram in kerala this has been how we have been able to reach out to you know the needy hospitals all across the country and our focus has primarily been on rural and remote tribal regions as well as in tier 2 tier 3 cities which probably nobody would have reached out to this project came up they uh, really helped us a lot and then now the project has become a reality and i am very happy and i am very grateful Uh, seva usa for having come forward to support us in this venture and i hope to join them in any other activity which will be helpful for the society in future Uh, so this is the whole idea of uh, mission o2g and uh, through mission o2g the hospitals and the non profit organizations we have worked with are all providing free or subsidized healthcare facilities to the poor
seva international organizations across the globe swung into action in the fight against covid during the second wave of covid in bharat with help of our trusted partners committed donors dedicated volunteers and compassionate supporters we were able to provide goods and services worth more than 50 million us dollars across all the states of the country and to nearly 100000 villages across india efforts of seva is a testimony of compassionate courage and cooperative collaboration truly living our taglines service above self and together we serve better oxygen generation plant installed across the country is a major step in our effort to focus on building resiliency in healthcare system in rural and tribal india we thank all our partners donors and volunteers in usa bharat canada uk new zealand australia singapore and other countries who have made this possible